KMA navigating the Fed's trajectory. Emily Tan joins us from Hong Kong with her conversation with the Monetary Authority CEO. Em uh, that's right, to Will. And the Hong Kong Monetary Authority uh, keeps an eye out on what happens over at the Federal Reserve. Because of the linked exchange rate, we move in lockstep. Now, this uh, linked exchange rate, which has been in place for next year, it'll be a 40-year anniversary. Uh, we had Eddie Yu saying that it provides Hong Kong with much-needed stability, a uh, small open economy that is externally oriented. Uh, the HKMA has spent billions of uh, billions Hong Kong dollar to defend the currency. Uh, the aggregate balance has been whittled down to about 100 billion Hong Kong dollars. Now, uh, what will it take for Hong Kong dollar weakness to subside? I put that question to Eddie Yu. This is what he had to say. As the U.S. has been increasing rates uh, from uh, almost zero to 3% now, and there will be more to come, uh, it's only natural that we see uh, the HKMA go into the market and buying Hong Kong dollars, not like defending the pack or protecting the fat pack, is actually acting in accordance with the design that we put in for the pack. Uh, and it's only natural for us to do that, bringing the balance down, and so that uh, for Hong Kong high ball race one month, you're already seeing it now rising to uh, more than 3%, uh, almost catching up with US race. But as US continues to raise rates, that differential will widen again and you will continue to see outflows from Hong Kong dollar and the balance will come down. As, the, as to when, where, is that whether there is an equilibrium level uh, of the balance where Hong Kong interest rates will almost catch up with US rates, thereby restoring the stability of the Hong Kong dollar exchange rate, we don't know where it is. We don't know whether it's 80 billion Hong Kong dollars or 70 billion Hong Kong dollars, but there will be a point where there will be there will be this equilibrium when our interest rate catch up with U.S. Uh, and our Hong Kong dollar exchange rate will become stable. As the aggregate balance continues to fall, will there ever reach a point where the HKMA cannot defend the peg? No, uh, because when the aggregate balance falls, Hong Kong dollar interest rates will rise. And if it falls below the equilibrium point that I talk about, imagine what will happen. Hong Kong dollar interest rates will rise above US dollar interest rates. And what will you do if you were a trader in the market? You will buy Hong Kong dollar and sell US dollar in order to uh, uh, get the uh, interest rate differential. And by buying Hong Kong dollar, uh, there will be strengthening pressure for, for the Hong Kong dollar exchange rate, thereby getting the Hong Kong dollar exchange rate back to the middle. So it's really the interest rate arbitrage mechanism that is holding uh, the current currency pack in place. So we don't really think about defending uh, whether there's an, that there's an attack that we can't hold, things like that. But it's really the interest rate, interest rate arbitrage mechanism that's doing the trick. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority has stood behind the linked exchange rate with the U.S. dollar, saying that it has served Hong Kong well. But with the economy now increasingly tied to that of China, under what timing and circumstances do you expect to see or will the Hong Kong dollar be linked to the yuan? Well, for the record, we have no plan and no intention to change the linked exchange rate system for Hong Kong. Uh, we believe that it has served Hong Kong very well. Uh, for the last almost 40 years. Next year, it will be the 40th anniversary of the pack. Uh, so it's gone through cycle, uh, business cycles and also several crises. And if you look back to the last few years when Hong Kong went through all these challenges, the Hong Kong dollar pack is really stable, resilient, and commands strong confidence from the market. So, you know, and as, I, as I mentioned, Hong Kong is a very open, uh, external or externally oriented small economy. We need stability in the exchange rate uh, as against our trade and investments with the world. Uh, so we have no intention of changing uh, the pact to US dollar. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority will kick off its Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit. Uh, there's an opening dinner tonight, and it's a two-day event, which kicks off tomorrow. And we're going to be there, rain or shine. Uh, it is T3 in Hong Kong. Uh, there is some expectation that the typhoon signal could be raised further. HKMA has indicated rain or shine, they will still be going. The, the show will still go on. Uh, so we'll be down there at the Four Seasons tomorrow with some key 
uh, event speakers, and we'll bring you some of those conversations here on CNBC. Tanvir, it's back to you. Yeah, the commitment is strong on this one, right? It's a big event, and I'm really looking forward to it. And see you there tomorrow then. Time now for a short break, but coming up on the other